Hey guys, this is CP from Imaginary Programmer and I code in Python. So in this video, I will talk about why should you take 100 days of code challenge, why people give up on learning code and how you can prevent this, and what to do after you learn the fundamentals of programming. Now let's talk about the rules. The two main rules of the challenge to ensure your success are Number one, you commit to code for minimum one hour every day for the next 100 days. Number two rule is you commit to encourage at least two other people who are taking the challenge each day using Twitter or any other platform. This challenge is like the Feynman technique model. There are four steps in this technique. Step 1. Write the name of concept at the top of the blank piece of paper. Step 2. Write down the explanation of the concept on the page. Use plain English. Pretend you are teaching it to someone else. This should highlight what you understand but more importantly, pinpoint what you don't quit know. Step 3. Review what you have pinpointed you don't know. Go back the resource material, reread and relearn it. Repeat step 2. Step 4. If you are using overly wordy or confused language, try again so you filter the content. Simplify your language and where possibly use a simple analogy. That's it, a simple powerful technique to ensure you can rapidly learn and retain new concepts and information. Now let's talk about the 21 by 90 rule. We all want to make good habits, whether it's in business, in our hobbies or our personal life. One popular method to build habits is called the 21 by 90 rule. The rule is simple enough. Commit to a personal or professional goal for 21 straight days. After 3 weeks, the pursuit of the goal should have become a habit. Once you have established the habit, you continue to do it for another 90 days. If you can keep up something for 3 weeks and then 90 days, then it should become a permanent lifestyle change. Now let's talk about the benefits and the main goal. The main goal behind the challenge is to help you become consistent in your learning. It will also help you navigate all the bumps and turns along the path. It will provide support and advice to make sure you continue moving in the right direction and don't give up. If you don't give up, no matter how slow you are moving, you will eventually reach your goal. That's it, so important. Why do people give up on learning to the code? Sometimes people are discouraged after talking to real developers who claim the learning path they look was the only correct one. Sometimes people don't know what technology to learn and in what sequence or which resources to trust with their limited time. But if you connect with others on the same path, you can share the ups and downs of the journey and together move past all these roadblocks. The 100 days of code community can help you reach your dream without having go through unnecessary difficulties along your ways. After you learn basics, then you can simply take problems like factorial of number, simple interest, compound interest, or check Armstrong number, and so on. You can find those problems and answer on geek for geeks free code camp W3 school. The links of all websites in the description. These problems sound difficult. But once you understand the basics, then you can solve those programs within minutes. The guy named called Limit on YouTube, one of on his video, he teaches how to learn Python in 10 days and his method is very effective. I will put a link to his channel in the description. If you want to know more information about this challenge, there is an official website called 100 days of code. I will put a link in the description. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching.